On uh, text number Michael Scully. Michael, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Joe. How Back are you? Back to this bizarre uh, anomaly which we discovered yesterday. Though it's been there apparently, but unfortunately it won't kick in for another uh, 18 months. And that's why it's not been on the agenda. And that is that one of the last acts of the Fianna Fáil government last year before they retired and got pensions was to um, raise the pension age to 66. That means anyone born in 1949 that was expecting to get a pension next January 12 months will not be getting a pension next January 12 months. They will be getting a pension next January 24 months. And as we heard yesterday, people who worked 40 years and more uh, will now not be eligible uh, for a pension until they are 66. The amount involved is €12,000. That's the state pension. And as I think was pointed out yesterday, uh, some of the ministers that signed off on this before they retired, retired at 51 uh, with a lump sum of a quarter of a million and a pension from that day, not 66, from that day, pensions of 12,000, not a year, but 12,000 a month. So there was a, a, a lot of people upset about that particular uh, anomaly. Michael, what, you, you want to raise another trap you think is out there. Oh, I do. There are two more which kick in this year, Joe, which mm. people may not be aware of. Now, the first concerns the, the number of uh, contributions which people need to qualify for a state pension, right? Mm -hmm. Up to anybody born before the 6th of April, 1946, okay? They needed 260 full-rate contributions. How many years would that be? That's roughly five years. Okay. Okay? With effect from the 6th of April, 2012, anybody born after the 6th of April, 1946, now needs 520 full-rate contributions. So the contribution threshold, if you like, has doubled. Okay, and who who will this hit? Well, that that will hit, you know, anybody who is now under 65, in effect. When when, when they come to to, uh, look for their state pension, uh, as I said, the the threshold now has been doubled from five years contributions, that is 260, to 10 years contributions, that is 520. Now, that is, that is a massive increase. Now, I, I mean, th- this, this was first mooted back in, I think, the Finance Act of 2002. But obviously, I mean, it, it would go off people's radar because, you know, when you're, when you're 52, you may not have a huge interest in your state pension. But when you're 62, your interest starts to, to increase. Of course it does. And that's one of the problems with this particular issue that people don't realise that is going to kick in very well in 18 months for a lot of people and kick in and that they won't get a penny for the year. Now, they can, of course, go to social welfare and see are they eligible for something else, but that, that in itself means a means test of difficulty. Let me bring Breeder Crow in, Tipperary, 5-1-double-5-1. Five, 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 you say it's not just the 1949ers that are going to be hit by oh, this. No, no, no. no. They, 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 this is, and by the way, Joe, that, that, that's not the end of the bad news, no? Yeah. There, 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 there's, there's more. The, the, the Minister is fairly fond of talking about the, the Minister... Uh, John Burton is talking about headline rates. She mentions she, she was able to mm. protect the headline rates. But anybody who, who doesn't qualify for a full state pension would have qualified for what's called a pro rata pension based on their contribution yeah, yeah. history. Now, let me just give you a, a quick example. Uh, this, year, this year, if you had, say, 29 contributions, right, you would have got a pension of €225. Euro uh, 80 cent, right? Mm-hmm. That, that's roughly 25, 26, 27 years of payment. From September of this year, that has been reduced to 196 euro, oh, yeah. which is a reduction of 13%. If you had, say, this year, if you had uh, an average of 14 contributions, you would have got a pension today, if you qualified, of 115 euro 20. That's been reduced from September of this year to 92 euro, which is a 20% reduction. Now, this, this, this mainly affects people who, who, for whatever reason, would have, would have left the social mm. welfare system in the, in the 60s, the 70s and the 80s. Okay. Perhaps, as you know, in the 60s and 70s, it was... It and I know, I know you've been looking at that infamous page from the Irish Times of the... Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, if you, if what, you, what struck you about the, well, the pensions? Well, what, what really struck me is that the, 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 the pensions for the outgoing TDs I mean, when you look at the type of figures that the likes of, of, of Farmer Taoiseach Ahern and, uh, and Brian Cowan got, pensions of €164,000 per year. And even moving down From to age 50. At age 50, exactly. And I mean, it, it, yeah. by the way, I mean, it, 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 you move over to say, the likes of Noel Ahern after 
uh, service of, of about 18 years, he gets a pension of 69,000. And I mean, it wasn't just incidentally in case I'm accused of Fianna Fáil bashing. I mean, th- this was for all outgoing TDs mm. from, you know, from Liz McManus to Mary Yeah, but the ministers, that, but the, well, the ministers who signed off, and it's the, min- it's the cabinet, I presume, well, the TDs would have voted for it as well. But the cabinet signed off on this increase in the age and the abolition of the pension for oh, a year. Oh, they certainly did. They but did. anyway, that, they okay, say, did. okay, say there, Michael. I need to bring Breda Crow in, then Eugene Cork. Breda, good afternoon. You're Thank 90, you. Good, thanks. You're, ni- you're not 1949, you're 1950. I'm 51, Joe. 51, okay. So, so how's it going to hit you? Well, the very same. I should. I will retire from my job in 2016. And will you have but a... I won't get any pension until 2017. And how many years have you worked? I will have worked 50 years when I'm 65. My God. Yes, so after 50, 50 years working in contributions, to, uh, yeah. at age 65, you're still not entitled to a pension? No. Not entitled to a penny. My God. And how do you react to that, Breida, now? Well, I actually am trying. I mean, I know about this for months. I remember okay. I heard about it the minute it came out. So you, 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 it, a light went off for you because of the Yeah, year, I right? did. I immediately tweeted. But... Joe, to be honest, you know, I can't spend the next four or five years being in a depth of depression over it. I'm quite a positive person. Fair play to you. Yeah, so I'm only hoping that some union takes it on. That H- who takes it on? Should... Some union? Some of the unions. You know, if, 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 if I could work another year, I'd be more than willing to work it. Yeah. But I actually have to go over now in 2016. Let me say that, Brie, that Eugene and Cork... How you doing, Joe? Why, are you a 49er or what are you? No, you're... Uh, 59, okay. but I will retire. The company brought in a pension specialist and he said that our contracts will be up in when we're 65. With the, with the job, but, yeah. With the job, yeah. but my uh, my state pension won't kick in until I'm 67. Oh, so hello. Can't. Okay, by the time, because it's going up and up and up, we're told. Yeah, because of course, so yeah. like people younger than me won't be allowed to reti- uh, get the state pension until they're 68, so there'll be a three-year black hole. But what what I was asking, what would I do to fill the black hole, he, he said, apply for job seekers' benefit. Go on the dole, but, like. Yeah, go on the dole. But job at, seekers at 65, benefit, they're telling you to go on the dole. When I'm 65, yeah. But job seekers' benefit only... Uh, only follows through for 12 months. So uh, there's another 12 months to go before I get my state pension. So I was told, then you apply for job seekers allowance, which is then means tested. Uh Now, if it's means tested, I have a small private pension. And if I take a lump sum from that pension, and they'll be saying, they'll they'll balance that against the means test when I'm 66.